Uh, since I was a kid, I was always drawing and animation was part of a dream working at Pixar when I, I reached high school, I will say. I become a huge fan of anime and I love cartoons since I was a kid. And I started thinking like, well, here in Mexico, maybe I can try to study something like that. But it's really different they carry uh, about arts there. So when I was searching for a different school and maybe something kind of animation or a digital art, I found Maximus. I've been working at a, a comic book studio on Curitiba in my city with a Marvel illustrator and he helped me a lot to build up my portfolio so I can I could apply to these places. The first contact with concept art was like playing video games and unlocking like unlocking concept art stuff and that unfinished look and the drawings that kind of got me got me interested. I grew up drawing in the art classes like since I have memory of and they have really nice schools in there but nothing like animation there animation doesn't exist in Dominican Republic actually. It's been it's been a, an easy process. They've made it so easy. Canada is such a welcoming country, and Maximat is like the most welcoming school I've ever seen in my life. Well, thanks to the help of Janet, like he's a, she's a contact like Maximat had, the process went very easily. That other people told me, with all the documents and all the stuff, she really helped me, and I think she really helps all the other international students with the process. They will facilitate as much as they can and all the process including well everything with visa and as much as they can. I had to save like for two years to be able to apply here but everything was amazing like the process, the, the how can I say, the, the lawyers that helped us to pass through the process. It was everything nice and the school was really interested for international students to come so it was a plus. I tried to adapt to the weather here. <laughs> it was a little bit difficult at, at the beginning because we start like in September and the winter was coming. It's the main thing that you're, you're going to notice, especially if you're from the Caribbean, like me. But the civilization, the education here is way more different and you feel like you are actually learning and the teachers are great here too. It's a huge cultural shift language, trying to understand how the, the place works and everything. What should I say? What should I not say? What, what is okay? What is not? It's difficult to learn how to take care of yourself, but at the same time, I feel like the teachers and the community in the school, since we are small classes and all, it helps you to just push through those moments, which is very important. It, it helps that we're all in the same like, it does, at the same level. Everyone is just trying to get by. From the people that might come from Brazil, I would say try to save some money and do your best to build up a great portfolio for them because they see the potential, they would see the potential that are on your portfolio so they can develop all the skills that they're showing. They don't have to stress like, oh my god, it's going to be so difficult, the process is going to be crazy, they're going to ask me like a lot of questions for the internet, for the student permit. No, uh, that is part is like, you have to be relaxed, you have to answer with the truth. Uh, what do you want to be in Canada? What is the school? What do you need? I hope many Domini Dominicans can come here because, as I said, there's no animation in the Dominican Republic. It will be great for the Dominicans to know that animation is not just car cartoons. It's more than that. It's like you can express yourself through that. If you would like to learn more about Max the Mutt or want to pursue a career in animation, concept art, or sequential art, click on the link that the arrows are pointed to in the box below or go to www.maxthemutt.com.